Hi there and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at TESOL Online with AI, which is a GPT on ChatGPT 4.0. So first of all, you need to have an account. And just to remind you, this is completely free, so do not pay. So either you sign up to chat or you log in. In my case, I'm going to log in. Now, notice there are a few ways of creating an account or logging in. One is to continue with Google or Microsoft, or if you're an Apple user, because I'm on a Mac, I can use that. But I'm going to go into login. And notice for the login, you also have the same options. And I'm in. All right, so um, this is something that I created for teachers who teach English to speakers of other languages or as a second language or a foreign language. And notice you can do a lot of things here. You can create activities for various learning management systems or in general. Uh, in this case, uh, we're on Moodle, so we're going to create activities for Moodle. Be as specific as you can in your prompts. And when I say specific, let's go back into the course Notice here, um, your prompt is going to depend on the following instructions. We're creating vocabulary and reading. And notice what's here. You're going to ask for uh, engaging ESOL activities using Moodle resources and Poodle activities. So that's really being specific. You'll have to choose a topic, whether it's travel, health, uh, daily routines, whatever you're working on or would like to work on with your students. And then the level, you might have different levels, but be specific for each level, whether it's beginners, intermediate, or if you've got other ways, whether it's for young learners, adult learners, academic, and so on. So you know your classes and you know the level. Outline the learning objectives. In other words, define what skills you want. And you add all this information. You just copy and paste it. And of course, make the changes according to your level and audience. And, and then you get all the activities that you want. So in this case, I am going to simply copy it and then make changes. So let me go into that. So this is a pretty long prompt. Okay, so let me copy that and go back into TESOL Online with AI. Now notice I'll just uh, add it here and then make the required changes. So choose the level. In my case, um, just for the sake of this, I'm going to choose the topic and the topic is going to be uh, daily routines and then um, I'm going to choose advanced okay let's make it more challenging next um, let's see what's here reading I think the rest of it okay so we're talking about the topic is daily routines daily routines you may also add cultures countries so that it's and we said that it would be advanced. Okay, so let's write advanced. And create a page introducing, in this case, uh, daily routines, descriptions of activities. We're talking about activities with images or videos. And then, um, okay, uh, since we're talking about routines, so it would be routines, daily routines. So just go through it, make the necessary changes, and then um, you're good to go. All right, so I think that it's all ready. Uh, let me click on this. Our prompt is in. And now let's see what the results are. Okay, topic, daily routines, advanced. And we've got learning objectives. 
organize content using Moodle resources, daily routines. We'll create a Moodle page, which is a resource. And then uh, we've got typical day, vocabulary, breakfast, commute, ooh, that's for advanced learners. And then we can, okay, and then we can be more specific, but this is more or less uh, the layout of what we will add, record. Notice uh, we need to do some things here. Uh, but this is for students to record under group discussions and uh, under solo Poodle. These are all activities in Moodle that you will find in your courses. Okay, so uh, sticky notes, uh, post one takeaway or question about daily routines after the lesson. Again, this is for advanced, so uh, you might want to have beginners with daily routines, not much for advanced uh, learners. And then notice uh, you can also assess using Poodle and Moodle tools, but if you don't want to assess, uh, simply ask them to remove. Remove uh, assessment, and then that'll be removed or removed anything else. Because I don't like to add assessments since I grade students directly in Moodle, so I don't need all of that. And then everything will be added except for that. If you want to be specific and you want to have specific reading, ask um, for a reading passage. For example, um, add a reading passage questions and what kind of questions um, perhaps multiple choice multiple pull choice questions and of course uh, you want questions and answer key okay so then I'll get a reading passage and multiple so you can this is being very specific we've got the levels we got everything okay it's coming back again with all of that if we don't want everything added again we can ask for just okay um, just add and then we'll get just that remember um, you're talking to someone as if you're talking to someone and you're asking them uh, to do specific things for you. This is an assistant, your assistant. So feel free to ask anything. So here's the reading passage. And notice it's already been added to the Poodle Read Aloud. So this will be your passage, okay? And um, multiple choice questions. And then of course the answer key is also available. If you wanna have more than five questions, you can ask for 10 questions and so on. So that's up to you. Where will you add the multiple choice questions? You can add them to a quiz in Moodle. Moodle has a quiz, just simply add them. So we might want to uh, notice uh, with the reading passage, that's fine, but we may want to uh, go back and change uh, the uh, the prompt okay so instead of changing it within the prompt we will simply um, a revised plan with assessment uh, removed okay so we might want to change the uh, the topic to um, home okay and the audience to um, young learners beginners and then we can it'll make all the changes for us accordingly so we don't have to go through each one and make the changes so notice everything will now change including uh, the activities so notice here everything is being changed so instead of changing it on our own we have an assistant to do that for us. So take advantage and change it this way instead of changing it uh, in a manual way. 
and then uh, you'll be able to see all of that if I share it with you, which is possible, by the way. So let's go to the very end. Notice the passage here is my house. And it's a very short passage because it's for beginners and young learners. Okay, it's almost coming to the end. And then you've got the various activities coming up. And now we can simply... Uh, copy it or we can go to the top here and share the chat okay that's also an option so others can use the same prompt and that's it if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment box below in this um, YouTube video or of course in the support form in the course so thank you for watching